Invest 95L is about to be the second uh, tropical cyclone in the Atlantic season. So far has an 80% chance of formation in the next uh, two days and could become a significant tropical cyclone before reaching the Lesser Antilles in the next uh, two or three days. Right now it's positioned at 9.5 degrees north and 36.9 degrees west. It's a low latitude uh, disturbance but it's going to drift more to the west northwest as it moves closer to the lesser antilles in the in the uh, in the atlantic ocean right now the system has sustained winds approximately of 30 miles per hour with a pressure of 1009 millibars and has been moving and the, in the on the last six hours approximately at 18 miles per hour to the west and it's going to uh, to curve more to the west northwest approximately in the next 24 to 36 hours as it gets more intense possibly attaining tropical status by tomorrow right now uh, this is the projection of what is going to happen uh, with this tropical cyclone possibly attaining tropical storm status by the next 24 hours or tomorrow and maintaining tropical storm status possibly attaining 60 miles per hour sustained winds in the next two days and the weekend and then attaining hurricane status before uh, this month ends and possibly talking about a category 1 hurricane and then possibly intensifying into a category 2 hurricane before making landfall possibly uh, around Barbados, uh, St. Lucia or maybe in St. Vincent and Grenadines in the, in the next 4 days possibly attaining category 2 status it's not really a uh, a certain forecast since there are some atmospheric factors that could prevent the system to intensify or to be that intense that some models are predicting actually becoming a major hurricane uh, after it crosses the Lesser Antilles and, and uh, well enters in the Caribbean Ocean but uh, the conditions so far appears to not be conducted to support major hurricane status but still is sustaining some uh, some strength in the next five days but uh, it's pretty certain that it's going to be a tropical cyclone and then if it becomes a tropical storm it's going to receive the name burial and it's a strange uh, tropical cyclone or it's going to be a really strange tropical cyclone since it's pretty rare to see a Cape Verde cyclone early on this season so it's going to be quite interesting the behavior of this tropical uh, of this tropical disturbance so far we are in uh, we are at code blues uh, right now and it's located about uh, 2650 kilometers to the east southeast of Barbados uh, 2750 to the east of Tobago, uh, the island of Tobago, uh, and to, uh, 2800 to the east of Trinidad, uh, the nation Trinidad and Tobago, 2810 to the east southeast of St. Lucia, and 2830 to the east southeast of St. Vincent and the Grenadines in the Lesser Antilles. And this is what I'm talking about with the conditions in the atmosphere. It's something that possibly the models aren't taking uh, or considering uh, with the forecasts since the wind shear is quite uh, becoming uh, not strong but it's increasing in the path of what is going to take this future tropical cyclone. It's quite moderate uh, in right now and low in the in the in the near future of this system but the uh, Caribbean Sea it's expected to have more uh, are more stronger wind shear accumulations or wind or wind shear levels and that's why we are not sure that it's going to become a significant major hurricane and then it's a five day forecast and everything could change so this is not really a very uh, a very precise projection but still it's expected to become a hurricane possibly a category 1 or category 2 before striking the lesser Antilles battling with some moderate wind shear not sure if it's quite strong enough to actually uh, make the system to to become less intense or or even uh, weaken the system so it's going to be 
a really interesting situation to see in the next uh, few days. The sea surface temperatures 27 to 28 degrees Celsius, uh, so it's practically good for this cyclone or this future cyclone to intensify and to maintain tropical storm status so far. And you can see the graphic on the sea surface temperatures in the last uh, two weeks. Practically, there's a lot. There's no uh, no much of variation with the sea surface temperatures. It's uh, the conditions on the on the ocean are good for the cyclone to absorb energy and to and to intensify with the with the heat content of the Atlantic Ocean. Since actually, it's practically quite above uh, normal uh, according to the anomalies. So it's going to be interesting to see in the next few days how the system behaves as well by the uh, by the sea surface temperatures which is going to increase as it moves closer and closer to the Antilles, lesser Antilles and you can see in the GFS model the possible track that, is, is that this system is going to take in the next days and you can see it's attaining hurricane status in the next uh, three days and then possibly category two status according to the pressure lecture that it's predicting this uh, this model 972 millibars which uh, which is uh, the pressure of a category two tropical cyclone and then starting to weaken gradually as it enters in the as it enters in the Caribbean Ocean Caribbean Sea excuse me and then weakening as a category one hurricane possibly but still it's a five day forecast it's not quite precise so it's really important to stay updated and to track this tropical cyclone very closely since since it's going to be possibly our first significant landfall of this atlantic hurricane season another uh, cyclone trying to form uh, behind of this system possibly just attaining tropical storm status or tropical depression status we don't know yet and the wind speeds according to different models some actually uh, predicting that it's going to attain 100 knots of wind speed that's category 3 115 uh, miles per hour we are really not sure that it's going to happen possibly category 2 and uh, maybe a low end category 2 hurricane or a mid-range category 2 hurricane depending on the atmospheric conditions and as well the dry air that is covering the whole Caribbean Sea and many parts of the Atlantic Ocean since we have Saharan dust in the in many parts of the Atlantic Ocean very high levels of Saharan dust which is going to be a factor to uh, to see about how intense or not the system uh, will become since the dry air is also not good for tropical cyclones to intensify uh, to intensify since there's no humidity uh, humidity to absorb the wind shear maintaining quite moderate and low so this is going to be a key factor to see uh, since the wind shear also disrupts the circulation of a tropical cyclone if, if it's too strong but so far it's looking good for the cyclone and we are not sure yet that it's going to be a really significant uh, a significant factor to prevent the system to intensify in the near future sea surface temperatures 27 to 28 celsius and increasing gradually as it moves more closer to the caribbean sea and the humidity decreasing as it, mo as it moves closer to the caribbean sea since the saharian dust it's literally covering the whole area the whole caribbean sea which is going to be a key uh, situation uh, for the cyclone if it intensifies or not and well uh, this is the current uh, aspect or the current presentation of this invest looking good as uh, showing some uh, rotation actually not really a closer circulation as we can see literally it's there the rotation but not it's not looking that is a closed one but possibly this could change in the next towers and we possibly are going to talk about tropical depression too or tropical storm burial by tomorrow this hour stay tuned for more content here in force 13 in our website in our youtube channel and many more in our social media as well become an ultimate fan today